Skyrim continues. We're doing, um, we're doing the main quest. And, uh, last time I played this, a dragon got stuck in a wall, and that's really all I remember. Well, I remember a lot of exposition. I remember Mario sounding a lot like Wario. And... There is some sneaky deaky like. There are some good clips. I think Skyrim Part 3 video is going to have some good moments. But get your bingo ready because we're probably going to experience nothing. Suck juice is done. I'm convinced for real 100% there is no chance of suck juice tonight. That's the ritual. I have to say it. I have to say it. Pack it up. Someone in chat also said that they played the new Pokemon quest game that, that just came out. You have to, like, you kill a bunch of enemies and then you wait 10 minutes to play it again. Someone, someone else said, it's bad. Another person said, I tried it. It's shit. It's meh. It's kind of meh. It's a mobile game. Really boring. Deleting it soon. Okay, then. Good start. Speaking of good starts, <laughs> I forgot that this was a thing. <laughs> oh, blessed are we on this day. I'm so happy. I was so happy that I started like this. Wait, there's more cow stuff happening. All my friends are here with me witnessing this great event. They were fixed. It's so bright out here. I don't know how you stand it. Yes, this will keep you from harm, sweet mother. Forever and always. Alright, well here we are. I have to just... I have to like, get my head back into the fact that nothing is going to make sense tonight. Also, yeah, I noticed that Cicero turned to Serana and said that line. I wonder... I wonder if Serana is upset. Like, I'm not your mother, fucker. I need more life, fucker. Let's kill someone! <laughs> no, Cicero! <laughs> Listener! <laughs> oh, that tickles! <laughs> Meanwhile, Serana sitting inside of furniture. Humble Cicero lives to serve. He says that tickles, but I'm pretty sure I, I did not touch him in any of the ticklish regions. There's a longer delay on me putting stuff in my treasure chest than there is on my microphone at this point. Well, I guess I'll make the announcement again since I already mentioned it. For anyone who hasn't been here, I no longer have a noticeable delay on my compressor. So, previously, any of my streams, for like a couple of years, the compression sounded good. Problem is that... Um, the, the problem is that there was a delay. It's almost a second. So my reaction was always slightly delayed. But now... Now we good. <laughs> oh. 
What a silly game engine. I take out the fucking Master Sword and Hylian Shield. And then... Did never use either of them. Really, really astounding stuff. Let's kill someone! Fuck. Are you laughing at me? Fire! Shit, wrong ability. Just gonna make sure I have everything I need. And I'm gonna put away some of the stuff I don't need. Even though, basically, the leveling up in this game and the inventory stuff is no longer why I'm playing the game. I might have a bunch of extra books. I think that's what's partially weighing me down. For me, the thrill of the game is, is now just, you know, finishing the story and also the glitches. It really... I don't care about the leveling up. I don't need to become more powerful. I thought about, like, making my bow stronger. Don't care. I guess I could do that now, but I'd still have to have the draft of blacksmith, right? Which I mentioned a couple times on stream that I would like to find. But then I just stopped caring. The Talos mistake. Uh, do you think it's time for me to read this book now? The Agma Infinitum? Why not, right? Um, I think I'm gonna get the shadow path, no? Or do I already have as much shadow as I need? I already have a hundred stealth, so let's just do might. Oh look, smithing has increased. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Oh, archery increase. Good, good book. I'm gonna increase Magicka so I can eventually use a couple spells that I don't have the ability to use currently. And also because I don't care. percent chance of a critical hit that does 50% more critical damage. I need 90 for that. So we got light armor. I can increase light armor stuff. I haven't really done a whole lot with it. I can do additional 25% armor bonus of wearing a matching set, which I am using a matching set. Steady hand I have already. I don't need- I don't think I need more steady hand. And let me just double check light handed. One hand- <laughs> light handed? I haven't really put as much in one handed as I could. It's 
Standing power attacks do 25% bonus damage with a chance to decapitate your enemies. I have this. Do a one-handed power attack while sprinting that does double critical damage. Extra damage overall is fine. Oh, I guess Cicero's hungry again. Oh, you know what I should bring with me? That other dagger. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, what was the name of the other dagger? Forty, uh, look at this. Sixty-three dragon scales and fifty-four dragon bones. <laughs> what the fuck? It was the Blade of Woe. Alright, now. How many of you have been paying close attention to my Skyrim streams? If so, can you tell me where I put it? Look at this disgustingly organized treasure chest. When I say disgustingly organized, I mean no organization. Down here. Nope. You left it in your other pants. Oh, that's not going to help. Blade of woe. Blade of woe. Blade of sacrifice. of amulets. And this is why... This is why one should just remove... If I could sell more shit... Like, you know what would be great? A trash can. Speaking of Jester, where the fuck is my bard? There should be entertainment. At all times. Blacksmith's elixir. Turns out I had one the whole time. Time to do some cra- uh, upgrading real quick. Real quick, I say, knowing how long it will really take. Yeah, that blade's gone. That blade is straight up fucking gone. I gave the blade to Cicero. Check your chest outside. I don't think I would put it over there. Should be there. Need to get mother some flowers. Pretty, pretty flowers. Fuck you. <laughs> Listener. <laughs> oh, <and that's> <laughs> yeah. Nope. All right. Humble Cicero. I no longer care. that shit up, 
Okay, what are we grinding? Oriole's bow. I need refined moonstone. Do you need something? Dude. 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 Stall rim? I have some of that shit, no? Stall rim. I want to do some upgrades. I've got moonstone ore. Uh, it's refined. Here's some. And I, I want to see if I can upgrade. I know this is the boring stuff, but I, I just want to do it. So I need some leather, too. For the other stuff. And I have to upgrade everything in 30 seconds. No, I don't have... I don't have any leather. Leather. I don't have any leather suits. Can I turn bear pelt into into leather? <laughs> okay. Wasn't pelt a euphemism for a, a Virginia? where it was. No? Okay, then. Um, let's see. Uh, chat, help me out here with, with this. Do I not have a thing that can increase blacksmithing? Like a spell? I, I seem to recall having a spell that could increase blacksmith. It's just the potion. Oh, it was, um... And I said to the baker, you're not it was, uh... Shit. It's an item. Silver blood family ring. You have a pickaxe? Really? Hang on a minute. Ancient Nordic pickaxe. No. The notched pickaxe. No. Raises the wielder's smithing abilities. Okay. And then... I have... Improvement here. Your wish. It actually doesn't. No? Oh. Uh, and then I drink this potion here, and then I can improve. Let me make sure my weapons are all improved. I'm doing this for the last time probably ever in my life on Skyrim. So I'm gonna make... I'm gonna make sure I improve, improve everything. I need Malachite, and what, what was the other thing I needed? Oh, man. I should pay more attention. This is already exquisite. I don't, um, I just need ebony or mirak. So, ebony. And that's it. Just ebony. And then I can upgrade everything I want. This is very- I know how exquisite the stream is, exactly. Let me double check. Everything's good. We're ready to upgrade. We are ready to upgrade. So I save. I've got 30 seconds. I drink the posh. And then I get an extra 50%.
pretty good. That's not... In Hang on a minute, though. That's not an exquisite. Is Epic the best? Why are you sharpening your bow? Shh. Shh. Legendary is best. Weird that it works for this, but not the other thing. That's fine. Serana, you have to stop. I'm on a timer here. Good. We, we will merge! What the fuck are you doing, Serana? What the fuck are you doing? You faded away! Reload, get Ebony to upgrade even more weapons. But my weapons are already pretty upgraded. I, you know, I'll try. I'll, I'll see what I can do. I don't know how much more I can upgrade this shit. The time doesn't go by when you're in the menus, though, right? It does. Oh, okay. Wrong! Did I just... did my time run out? Is that why I'm going from epic to exquisite? Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright, I can do this. I can do this. I can't believe... ...that the time runs out while you're in the menus. That's in, that's insane. Time to start a new game. Yes, the save scumming is real. It is so very real. So you can go ahead and check that off on your Bing Yacht. Alright, Serana, what are you doing? Dear Cicero will keep you from harm, sweet mother. For it. and always. Speed run. <laughs> Fukyar. Pretty good upgrades, too. Pretty fucking good upgrades. Very happy about that. Now enchant? Oh, that, that's gonna be a whole different thing. Do you think these upgrades will end up mattering? It might save us a total of 15 minutes stream time between now and the end of the Skyrim streams. So yes, it's worth it. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you? I, oh, I live here. It 
Let's see. I don't think I can do any enchanting. I haven't really put any effort into that, but... Um, I could enchant the crossbow. <laughs> need the enchantment though. I don't really use the crossbow very much. Screw enchanting. Let's actually go do something. Let's do something! <clears throat> Cicero is at your service, oh great and powerful listener. You pretend to be a nightingale, but do you know what the nightingales are? I bet you don't. Did you become a nightingale yet? No. No, I'm not doing the uh, Thieves Guild stuff this playthrough. I already did that last time I played the game. Which I've explained many times. But I'm happy to explain it again. There's always- there's always some new people. There's always, um... People expecting a proper Skyrim playthrough and getting cows going through walls, which is actually as proper as it gets. Most Skyrim playthroughs, I would say, involves Lynn. Or Thomas, the tank engine, as a dragon, or the rock, or Shrek. So this is pretty legit as far as Skyrim playthroughs go. Just checking on this right here. All good. Very good. Just want to make sure it was still there. Must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I'm always hearing about. Is, that your voice I hear? Is it weird that my first reaction to that noise and those shadows was, it's a glitch? Alright, well, we have to talk to Ulfric Stormcloak first. Then we can do. <laughs> the other quests. There's General Tullius, and then there's the Ulfric Stormcloak. It is time to collect the borers. <laughs> That's this. It is the Swedish chef by now. Sorry. Here I am playing a Bethesda game while Bethesda streams officially on their channel. Trolling. Like, I gave it a few, a few hours. There was a few hours where I had it on. You know, just kind of... ...checking in on it every now and then. Starting to, like, let my imagination run wild. I was starting to, like, think of the possibilities and, like, get excited for Fallout again. Even if it was a remake. Like, a, a new Vegas oh, remake would be really great. And then... All my hype went away when they put the, the Fallout Boy to sleep, and I was like, "Oh, I don't care." 
The it's Empire like, is putting a great deal of fuck you, Luigi. Front. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. There's no hope of that. finding victory across the land. How long are you going to wait? You Colonel. think I need to send Bolgraf a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? Cicero's heard about the butcher. So we're ready to start night. this war in earnest. <laughs> Cicero. Stop, 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 Cicero, stop, stop, shut the fuck up! This is... Stop, 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 this guy stop. could get us killed! This is like the king of Skyrim. What the fuck is wrong with you, Cicero? Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. What a horrendous they first impression. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But I've not, never heard that line from him either. People are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. And let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. Let's kill someone! Very bad impression. We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Godmother. Why do you fight for me? Yes, but... Let's kill why someone! If not for me, what? dialogue didn't even happen. I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. <clears throat> I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people. Impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. <laughs> I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough would be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. Let's kill someone! I'm glad we retire from the world. We're such a big dog. I... But it's me not. This is not a war. Why are you walking backwards? Oh, great and powerful listener. It's Alfred. Mm. Alfred, what are you doing? Yes. Make it quick. Mm. I'm a busy man. Come close to me. <laughs> come, come closer. Wow, I didn't know you Let's could do this with a sword. Someone. That's really cool. Galmar thinks we should double our men in the reach. A reasonable strategy. And the you, your legs are finding Vic. Well, sir, the hold of Falkreath is fairly vulnerable and blocks the only road from Syridi. A good point, old friend. To be sure, my lord, I am not skilled in the arts of war or military tactics. But you're able to see the hole in the park, and for that I'm grateful. Staring right yes. at me. Make it quick, I'm a busy man. Witnessed me doing all this bizarre shit with my troop of merry men. Cicero talking about stabbing. What are you, are you a bard? Oh. Alright, let's talk. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a yarl without some. Do I know you? Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helga. Did you forget? Destin I'm the lizard with the little green stripey thing around my eye. As opposed to the little yellow stripey thing around my eye. A fair point. Well, you've come to the right place then. Speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they've made it out of Helga. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past. And you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. I don't know why I'm here. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. Where is this guy? 
No, but real. How did your voice echo like that? Colonel, you sound extra gruff. Are you taking lessons from David Hayter's voice mm. acting? Mm. <laughs> Let's kill someone. All right. Okay, I'll stop fucking around. Yes. Make it quick. I'm a bit. Speak with Garmar. He'll size you up and see where we can best use your talents. It's about time they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Politics be damned, Alduin has returned. Alduin? Alduin. The world eater of song and legend. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Alright, great. I'm not joining a faction this playthrough. I could care fucking less. I don't- I don't care. I straight up don't care about video game politics right now. I've had it up to my gourd. Up to my gourd. With politics. I don't need video game politics, please. It's a big ass platter. Kill Jester. Great. Now I'll never know what that dude was gonna say to me. I heard pssst, and that was it. This isn't quite a guard explosion. The Imperials think us all lawless beasts. I wouldn't I'm check that off on your bingo sheets. Up to my gourd! You're at the wedding of the Emperor's cousin. In solitude. Gods. You just joined the Stormcloaks? I... did no you such thing. You some of that unwanted gear. Head over to Sadri's used wares. Talk to the Elf. Don't suppose you'd enchant my sword. I don't think I joined them. I mean, I was not given an option. I just talked to the dude so I could complete the quest. And then he was like, you should talk to my friend. Even though he sounds nothing like that. You haven't officially joined them according to the game. Okay. Oh, uh, looks like I gotta talk to General Tullius, who might know me as the wedding massacre perpetrator or perhaps the emperor killer what do you think Ulfric would think of me if he knew I straight up assassinated the um, emperor with a suplex Skyrim belongs to you Looks like the guard explosions aren't really happening so much right now. And maybe the game fixed itself. Maybe the cow fixed the game for us. The cow is sick of the dimensional fragility. Here we go. Unsolicited life story. Almost unsolicited life story. Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious. See? But a well-made... I'm too old to work, but that don't make me too old to drink. Huh? I 
lost my eye defending the Empire. Spare some grub for a veteran? Here. It's all Why are there, um... Why are there red dots? On the compass? Hmm. Solitude. Lovely Cicero could tell you a thing or two. There was danger. Staying safe, I hope. They ran away, though. Oh, well, yes, yes, I have an audience with General Tullius. Of course, the the heavily armed and armored lizard. That's not even them, because they're Romans. Like, Oh, yes, uh, the, the heavily armed and armored lizard. You can come in to see the Emperor, of course. Uh, or rather, the General. No problem. I don't abide fancy clothes, Ulfric's but you look like you might. I hear Radiant Raymond He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man yes, is going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Bolgruff. Jarl Balgruf sounds like like city. ball dandruff to me. On the me. other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. The High King's oh, court needs a jester. Not me. No. Not Cicero. General. Full of hearts is busy. Enough. You people Thank you very much. Jarls. It's a unique Sir, dialogue, Cicero. You can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making Let's a move for White Run, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Cool helmet. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. <laughs> sir. I remember you. You were at Helgen. Speak to Legged Rika. I suspect we could use someone like you. I see. Then there's nothing further to discuss. If you change your mind, speak with the Legend. The Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? Wait, so this dude's American? Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. No, I mean, he's the accent. It's not... Hello, yes, the Greybeards. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no dragons. The dragons are a bigger problem now than the stork Stormcloaks. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, fuck. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Emperor would just give me the reinforcements... Which I've Emperor? Requested. Did they get a new one? Not that I knew he was dead. Most of the legion is tied down on the border with the Aldmeri Dominion. The Emperor can't afford to risk weakening Cyrodiil's defenses. Serana, the Imperial City, studying the map. here is just a sideshow, an interlude before the main event against the Thalmor resumes. Yes, yes, fine, I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Alright, that was easy. Serana, what do you think about this war? Master strategist, Serana. Talking peace hey, with vampire. <laughs> you must be an optimist. As a matter of fact, I am. Sir. Fuck. Where are you going? No. Let's get stuck in the corridor, yes. Let's get stuck. Whoops, sorry about that, General. Damn. Kill someone. Not now, Cicero. I'm sad. I wanted to give him a helmet. Let's 
someone. Illusion of fire ruined. Wait a minute, that's not supposed to look like that. <laughs> Only in Skyrim could you just fuck around for a second with an object and glitch it. <clears throat> Cicero is at I just stole service. that by accident. I don't know if I did that, or I, I don't know if this object was already fucked. Sorry, this is a lot more interesting than it should be. The Greybeards have called a peace council at High Rothgar, and can you believe it? Both Ulfric, Stormcloak, and General Tullius have agreed to go. Well, word gets, gets around fast. You wouldn't happen to have been pressing your ear something? against the door, right? Disrespect the law, and you disrespect me. Dude was eavesdropping. Now everyone's gonna know. You know how to clip through the walls with bowls? No. <laughs> no. When you say clip through wall, you hold a bowl in front of you and you sprint. Alright, you know what? There's a greater reason for me having stole that bowl. Stolen that bowlin. Oh, like that, you mean? Followers aren't helping me do this. Hang on, I'm gonna try this a couple more times. I think we're making progress. Let me clip through this one, maybe. Close. That object is better. Use a plate. Alright. I'm sure we'll find one in here. Plates work better. I can't believe that's a thing. I can't believe I'm looking over a chat and they're saying I can go through walls using plates. Don't use the bowl, use the plate! This doesn't happen with so, most video games. Arn gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that. Is Davos? Oh, Esper. Where are you? Hubris of the blades truly knows no bounds. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse our grudges. The matter at hand is urgent. Aldwin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldwin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Ah, uh, very well. Ah. Uh. You may act. Oh, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. 
Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Thrawn is very lordly. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. Let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Why delay? But please, take your seat so that we Again, I've never seen any of this. So this is all new to me. And I am invested in the story to some extent. Like, I'm curious about what, you know, what's gonna happen. I'm more curious about this plate. Cicero, you're not trying to glitch the game too, are you? <laughs> it's not happening, guys. It's not happening. Let's kill someone. The walls are sloped here. Okay, so I need a non-sloped wall. Like, like this. Oh, that's closer. That was closer. That's madness. Serrano. Okay, so this plate is no longer pick upable. Oh, okay, Serrano was just stepping on it. Big story moment coming up, and I'm trying to glitch through walls with plates. Oh, you fuck! <clears throat> Cicero is at your service. Oh, great, uh, powerful listener. This is not the right place for this. one more thing whirlwind sprint probably won't work but what? nope no! use a kettle you're pulling my leg now <clears throat> Cicero is at your service oh great give up Maybe I'll try again on a future stream, when I have more skill at picking up plate. Where the fuck am I going? Let's get ready for the fucking Council of Elrond. Everybody's favorite part of- oh, this is- you guys are all here? Like, now? Why delay? Please, take your seat so that we can begin. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll take my seat. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. I hope that we have all come here no. in the spirit you of... insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Your Who, Serana? That didn't take long. Serana's sitting here. here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. Jeez, oh, really? By Izmir's beard, 
The nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that foul more bitch. Jesus if Christ, she walks dude. Or I do. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Hmm. It feels like a mistake to me. But I'll bow to your judgment on this. That's right. Just, 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 you but got she this. Is to observe. Nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Alfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your fathers and killing your sons. <laughs> She's supposed to be on <laughs> This is gonna be fun with Serana here. No. Cicero's not... Cicero's absent. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. <laughs> here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. Princess Zelda? I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to Serana's proceed? got some fucking balls. Sit down. General Tullius. In the Jarl's chair. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. And do your best to begin the process of sit. achieving a lasting peace. Go ahead, sit. Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. Who is Elisif? Who? Truce. What's her Elisif. domain? I said I'd handle. Aside from her Alfred, being Zelda, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. She's the Jarl of Solitude. Oh, okay, in she's in bed with the Emperor. Been unable to take in battle, is that it? Ex-Emperor. I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. What in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. Rightful heir you to the throne of Skyrim. Empire, okay. And deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. Riften. Mm. The rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil and threatened Ulfric's southern flank. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragon Boy. I came here in good faith, and now it seems you held the Empire at every turn. As for you, General Tullius. I see now that Garmar. I, I think I screwed up. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markar, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Lothalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false Empire. Let's go, Garmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. Esburn, MVP. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. 
Max Bancito's voice danger? acting MVP. Do you understand what the return of the dragons means? And here comes Serrano. Aldrin has returned, <laughs> the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with the... <laughs> oh, you Jesus right, Christ. Adolf. We both have just <laughs> as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. Don't Synchronized. Don't the cheap spiss and call it me. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender Valkyrie to us. Sidgear steps down, and Dengir of Stun resumes the Yalsh. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. Hmm. What say you, Dragonborn? I say we let Serana make the decision. And get Cicero in here, too. Cicero knows what to do. Spoken like a true son of Skyrim. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces. <laughs> there she goes. Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become That's right. the Jarl of Markarth. I, a lizard, am a true son of Skyrim. Ulfric will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Rifter. Valkyrie will be turned over to Ulfric, and Dengir of Stoom will return as Jarl. You both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Alistair? Are these terms to your liking? Why is everyone going mental about Maven? Is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. Maven. The Empire can live with these terms, a yes, shit. for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Delmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. Alright, it's time for me to but use my Dragonborn to voice. How to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent... Goose! Rhoda! Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost room. But the important thing is that the blades recorded... The Dragonborn has spoken. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldrin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts. By calling the dragon with the voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful. When did Cicero get here? To refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Aldrin, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. 
I'm no master of the voice like these, worthy gentlemen. But it is written here in the scroll. Oda Fing, winged snow hunter, as I read it. I hope this truth gives you what you want. You won't last. There's one thing we know about. A second. I don't know what the dudes sound like. So I got bored during the council. <laughs> don't mind me. Oh, they're loud? Sorry about that. Plug game into audio mixer? I tried. <laughs> I don't know how to. That's fine. We needed his help. Now we don't. And it's long past time for him to pay for his crimes. And he's not just any dragon. He was the right hand of Alduin. He committed atrocities so infamous they are still remembered thousands of years later. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you. No, to but he's Mario. Until he's dead. Fuck off. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. All right, Anakin. Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. All right, well, this is my council. I got Serana. Who is going to inform us to talk about on... Alright. We got Serana, who can discuss the vampires of Skyrim, and represent them, and uh, also sneaky. She knows how to be sneaky, see? She's faster than Cicero when it comes to sneaky. Look at that. Oh, well, that's pretty good. And Cicero, you can be here for clownly affairs. And teleportation. It's not a whistle. Yeah, that's a high-pitched hum. This is how you know I'm the real dragonborn. So, did they just take the nine from the seven from Ice and Fire? Like, I'm wondering if original Elder Scroll writer was like, Oh, I just read this cool book. It's called A Song of Ice and Fire. Or did that... Did Elder Scrolls start first? Maiden, Mother, and Crone isn't unique to either. The Elder Scrolls lore writer is insane. Oh. <laughs> Kill Parthenax.
Nah. All right. So how do I uh, how do I trap this monster again? I, I wasn't. I was obviously playing with my mixer. Fake mixer. Um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I call it. Go to right run. The right. Run -off! Blades have all died in one fell swoop. The Dragonborn, also dead. The world has been relegated to destruction from the World Eater, Alduin. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna kill her. Not yet. So wait, what am I doing at, um, Whiterun? This isn't mapped for Whiterun. Oh yeah, it is. Ah, look at that! I thought that's where I was! Whoops! <laughs> She's invincible anyway? Okay, so she would have survived that and shown back up at some point. Do the right thing. Kill Parthenax. This is like that episode of Star Trek The Next Generation where they capture a Borg and they eventually name him Hugh. But Captain Picard refuses to meet with him because he had a bad experience with the Borg, so he just assumes that the Borg is shit. But then, Whoopi Goldberg is like, Have you talked to him? And he's like, No. Why would I? Well, go talk to him. And then he talks to him and realizes, like, he's nice. So you can just go check that off on your bingo cards. All hail the dragonborn. It's a good episode. We just watched it fairly recently, actually. Oh, you know what? This is good. Ooh, Cicero wants some Skyforge steel. Sharp, sharp for easy stuff. Jesus Christ, Cicero. Oh my God, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Cicero, you like to get in my way, like, a lot. Where are you going, lizard? Okay, goodbye, lizard. At least the game is kind enough to put me back to the entrance. This is 
way easier than it has any right to be. That's madness. <laughs> Nothing else? I'm always eager. Fear not. Come dragon or giant, we'll be ready. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. Okay. Yesterday I saw a dragon fly right over the city, headed northeast, towards Shear Point by the looks of it. It's really, really, really easy. Here, let me try one more time, but this time I'm gonna go through the, those big platters work really well. But I'm gonna try one We're more time. No, no, not yet. Let me just remove the gourd from that table. Just want to actually go through a wall into another room and feel like a fucking Avenger. Stainus, like, like, enemy Avenger. <laughs> Break that loot across my knee, and if the Parcher chooses to fight, by then I'll set his clothes. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Mm hmm. As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Get all the hard to reach places. <laughs> We're about to trap a dragon, Cicero. is talking about hard to reach places. That's good. That's good. I love it. It's like, if you could check off a bingo slot multiple times, if there was a heat map of how many times you click a bingo spl uh, splot, then that particular one, yeah, that one will get checked off a lot. It'll be red. We're ready when you are. Very red. Rana. Go ahead and call this dragon of yours. We're ready. Why are you looking at me like that? Do you disapprove? Sorry about that, Jarl. Here, I got this, I got this. Just, uh, come a little closer. Just listen real quick. Go ahead and call this dragon of yours. We're ready. Did I not just use... Oh. I haven't fought anything yet. There's been no bloodshed. Yeah, holy fuck! Never should have come. Yeah, he comes. Steady. Steady now. Keep under cover until it's down. Oh, you can speak. You can speak people words. That is a cool looking shot. Cicero's about to get fucking roasted. He's gonna roast his bone. Yeah. 
Yeah, I might be a little over leveled. This dragon is is making it easy to be captured. Okay, okay, maybe I'm not overleveled. Do not. Do not what? Do not die! You'll just reload the save anyway, you cheap fuck. Cicero trying so hard. Like a true blade. Except there is no trap. Glitch. I think that's supposed to be down here. Good. There's an invisible wall over here. You went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. In Seer Alduin. No doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin, Vuval. One reason I came to your call was to test your Thurm for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his Thurm was truly the strongest. What do you mean he shouldn't be doing that? No, he's dancing. I would really love to see what the fuck this scene looked like before it glitched. Or what it's supposed to look like. Also, there's an invisible wall here. But, you know, we're just getting some stank leg. It's fine. Once Lord Grosses, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength. Devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafen, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. In Doran, Power of Cicero glitched him. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zu lost Ofan Hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Um? Serve you? No. Need id. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Grossis. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. <laughs> Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings of one. You will never set foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, <laughs> but not while imprisoned like this. I have the scene as it's supposed to look. Someone linked a video, I'll show you in a minute. 
Indeed, or in Britbro. I cannot leave here until you defeat Alduin, which you cannot do without my help. So, real quick, real quick, take a look at this. First of all, I don't think I was supposed to kill the dragon entirely. So you can see here. And even this looks glitched. Look, look, and then, and then he just slowly shimmies into the shackles. It's like, what? So, you know, then the dude is supposed to just speak and not, and not leg, but we're getting some stank. It's just a weird glitchy jaw animation instead. Look how calm everyone is. It seems our enemies have no end of spies, saboteurs, and assassins to send against us. I've got my eye. A captive dragon. Just think of the possibilities. I would be most appreciative if you would... Come on, mage. Do not test my promise to the Dorakeen. <laughs> Bro, what's happening anymore? I'm sure you will not even notice me. Most of them are hardly painful at all to a large dragon such as myself. You have reconsidered my offer, hmm? Onikankron? <laughs> I can't get over this thing. Me, Roland, <laughs> if in return I promise to take you to Skaldafen and stop helping Alduin? Tarodis. It was you that lured me here and took me prisoner. Hobalan Gramido. I have done nothing to earn your distrust. Onikan Korav Gai Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. And, and this is exactly why there were 150,000 people. Me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. Idling in Bethesda's Twitch stream for 10 hours. Because they want more of this. Jume, what are you doing back there? What the f fuck? What the fuck? <clears throat> Cicero is at your service, oh great and powerful listener. Well, now it's fixed. Kind of. I mean, I don't know how normal this is. This is probably just fine. I'm sure when they were making the game. Cicero, why do you interrupt every thought I ever have? Yeah, don't don't question it. Don't question it. It's beautiful. This is what it wants to be. Something to tell the grandkids, eh? You sure about that? You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? Your funeral. Someone else is gonna have to help you get him back in there again. It's get so ready to open the trap. Here. I don't know how you stand it. This seems like a really bad idea to me. Carry on, soldier. This is all part of the Dragonborn's plan. <laughs> Crazy. Sister. 
was new. Sie need dein Rufe erst mal. Uh, yeah. That didn't look natural. I mean, as natural as a dragon could look, but it didn't look like that. And at least the game didn't get me killed by riding that dragon trap, which, again, is magic. I know it's supposed to close in over the dragon's neck, but it, it looks like it didn't do that. Saran Uth, I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? Zukbrit of. I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the Dov will only increase. Amativ, Mu Bo Kotin's Dinsalon. You know, that probably would have had more of an impact on me had I not done Dragonborn first, where you get to actually ride a dragon. You don't get to control the dragon, well, barely. This is as far as I can take you, Griffoth Akrin. I will look for your return, or Alduin's. Guess goodbye. Um, Chad, how much longer is this main quest? Would you say? This is the last segment. You're at the end. Wow, that seems quick. Do you think I could do this tonight or? At least an hour. Main quest isn't very long. Okay. I definitely don't want to spend another hour playing this. It. I mean, I want to. Here's what we could do. Next Skyrim stream, I could finish the main quest. And then just tie up some loose ends and fuck around a little bit. There will be a part later that'll be good to stop on. So I'll, I'll play a little bit more of this. You know, I actually, uh, I don't have any of my followers. I'm on my own here. Yeah, occasional revisits to Skyrim sounds like fun, but not as often as once a week. I mean, this is definitely one of the more lengthy, uh, stream recurring games I've ever, ever done. Do I own it on PC? I do, but I, I don't think I would want to reinstall it. I, I'm like a little sick of Skyrim at this point, even for modding. It was a fun series, and... 
there have been videos along the way too, so like Southbird's been making really good highlights. I think we have enough for another highlight too. Easily. A Fallout stream? No. <laughs> No, I'm gonna pass on the open world games, uh, for a little while, I think. At least, I'm gonna pass on the Bethesda open world games for a little while. Let's frame it in that way. Like, I still want to do some Far Cry here and there. Even though I'm getting a little bored with that, too. That's, that's gonna end up being a game I never finish. I can feel it. It would have happened by now. Also, man, this game... Like, volume-wise... Today, it's been going from, like, really, really low... To where you could hear a pin drop... To me now shouting over the game. If you don't beat Far Cry, at least watch the end. Oh, so I can be disappointed? That sounds like fun. I mean, it's- it is a good game. I like playing it. It's got good gun, good shoot. Um... Planes are cool. I mean, there are things I really like about it, which is why I ended up playing so much of it. Maybe what I'll do is... Maybe once I get bored, I'll just complete everything really, really quick. Like, I won't do as much side shit, and I'll just gun it to the end. I'll take over the bases, and just do all the main shit, and that's it. The Vietnam DLC for Far Cry 5 is out in a week and a half. Really? Okay, so... <laughs> I'm not that excited about Vietnam DLC, I'll be honest. But I am excited for, like, the Moon DLC, or Mars, rather, Mars. Uh, I don't know where I should be going. Thought I had to go up here, maybe not. The marker is messed up. So it is up here. Oh no, it's up the other stairs, okay. Sorry, there's still, like, you know, three or four or five seconds of delay is still enough delay that if people tell me, yes, Vinny, go there, and I'm looking a different way, I'll get confused. And, and what am I fighting for? most boring way to do combat in this game. Just go up to the things and hold the buttons. That's why I say what you want about Fallout 4. It had some good gunplay. It wasn't the best gunplay. But it was engaging enough that I could shoot. God. Oh my Todd, please just stop the music. Kind of sounds like Matrix music. Some of those, like, horn toots.
think I touched uh, the dude's leg. Boss. Well, that's the thing. The stealth is more interesting, you know, than just going up and jamming the buttons and waiting for them to die. Some of the magic is kind of cool, but apparently it's not as useful. Like, most mages tend to just go back to stealth archer. Not most, but, you know, I've, I've heard that story many a time. Many a time. And I'm wondering, like, what could they do for the next one? And I think to, like, well, what, when is first-person melee combat ever been fun? Is it? I mean, chivalry, um... Someone saying Mountain Blade, Dark Messiah. I've never played Dark Messiah. I hope whatever next Witcher is, it takes a page out of the Breath of the Wild book. Because, man, combat in Breath of the Wild was fun. Even if most of the fights were useless, and you didn't need to do any of the fighting, like on the overworld, well, not so much of it. I wanted to get into as many fights as possible, because I just liked the way the, the weapons fell. I mean, there's still room for... more. I think whatever next open-world Zelda is, they could go a little further with the combat. Breath of the Wild combat was the same as Skyrim's hack and slash until they die. Controversial statement in chat. I would say that's a big negatory. While you're right, when you, when you say you hit them in the face with the sword until they die, there's a lot more going on. Did you know that in Bloodborne and Dark Soul, you also have to go up to the dudes and hit them a lot until they die? Could you believe it? In the Dark Soul, you just have to hit them. Oh look, Skyrim's trying to... It's trying to be cute. It's giving me puzzles. Isn't that nice? And yet, I can't figure it out. <laughs> Go me. See, the snack needs to be, I think, facing. So, snack, eagle. Use plates? 
What do you mean, use plates? Oh, that's a really good idea, actually. Where's the- is, we got a plate? Someone in chat just said, this is painful to watch. Do you know what's painful to listen to? Fuck you! All right, so so snack. Snack eagle. Snake. This is this is snake. Above. This is fish. So fish. Did it. Kind of. they all needed to be snake facing this direction. You got me. Go ahead, release your special edition Fallout. I'm ready for it. Fuck. Alduin wins. Then he just stop here, play again later. <laughs> what do you mean play again later? I'm never coming back to this. Flip the switch every time you rotate the pillars. Easy. Well... What is ha What the fuck is wrong with me that I can't figure this out?
Use the arrow at the base of the spinner. Like the free D spinner. Oh. Nope. The whale, Vinny. So... So, whale. Whale. Snake. Snake. People are saying, yes, it's whale, snake, snake. Vinny, you got it. Look through the gate. Oh, you know what? I will look through the gate. Let's take a look in here. Nothing going on in the gate. I broke it? Are you- okay, hang on a minute. Now the chat is saying that I broke it. Snake. 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 Whale. Whale. Time to see if I have a plate in my inventory. Close the other gate first. Listen. If that's the solution, if I have to close the other gate first... That's some serious oversight. That, that, why can't they both be open at the same time? That's silly. Oh. I feel a little less stupid. Like 20%, 30%. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid with you. Cause today... <laughs> you guys got there. Gee, I wonder what could be shooting me in the face with arrows. Oh shit, look at those poses. This one die. From the foos. Oh yeah. That's cool. Foos. Do you remember foosball? I hated that fucking game so much. I'd always knock my own balls into my own corner. It's my own goal. Man, there's a brief period of time where I had an uncle that had a lot of money. It was only like a two year period, but I saw what it was like. And he had... And this is... this is... A story I've told on stream a little bit. I'm not gonna go into the details, but I- yes, I had a rich uncle for two years. Maybe a little less than that, right? Okay. Dude had a massive house in Connecticut. 
massive. We're talking, you know, mansion, basically. And, um... I had never known what that life was all about. Uh, very... I'll, I'll say this, very stingy for a, like, super rich guy. Very stingy, but... None of my business. I'm, I'm not saying, like, you know... Nice, nice enough guy. But, it's not like... He wasn't handing out thousands. You know what I mean? Someone said, uh, super rich people are stingy. How do you think they got super rich? Is my contribution. Oh no, more puzzles. Anyway, really, really nice guy though. And I liked him a lot, actually. I liked him a lot. He did keep old hot dogs in the fridge though. Like, really, like, they were turning green. And he was like, oh no, they're good enough. It's like, dude, we can, we can go get some more hot dogs. Anyway, that's another... <laughs> Let's- let me tell you the point. The point is, he had a game room, and the game room was like, just Stratego, a foosball table, a pool, and a couple other, like, things with felt boards. And all I wanted to do was play Super Mario RPG on the big screen TV, and Secret of Evermore. I mean, it was cool for a little while. It was- it was nice to have that. I hated foosball. I didn't understand the appeal of it. But, um... Playing Mario RPG was a lot of fun. But now I think, like, our generation of, let's say, one of you guys in chat, someone who's, like, in their early 20s, gets super rich. What is your game room gonna look like? Is it just gonna be a- a fucking VR holodeck? Is it just going to be an empty room with a Vive? And a suck chamber? Maybe, um... You know, like a crazy arcade? Okay, hang on a minute now, we got a puzzle. Boy. Also, shh, do you hear that? It's not Cicero. DDR? Oh, a DDR room sounds like fun. Fool! Cicero! Cicero, Cicero is getting hard. Doesn't work like that, does it? Snake, I'll do the fucking snake. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? You want me to do the snake? You want me to do the eagle? What do you want me to do? Fish? What do you want? What do you want? Tell me what you want. Uh, I don't give a shit. What do you want? What the fuck do you want? Huh? Snake. You say you get the snake over there, and then I, I do the snake, and then nothing happens, huh? See you guys up there. Fucking eagle. All right, we got a fucking eagle. We got a fucking fish over here. All right. Okay. So I vine blinded a little bit. It's still your fault. All right. It's still your fault. God damn it. If I had a game room, I would set up a television and a Nintendo Wii. And I'd put the television behind a glass... a glass barrier.
Just in case it accidentally leaves my hand at a high velocity. And then I'd have- finally have enough room to play Wii Bowling. And then... I start learning how to flick my wrist appropriately. Do you remember when you first played Wii? And you played Wii Sports and you would do the actual motion... ...that you would have to do with sports? And it seemed so magical. It was so cool, because you got to like swing a baseball bat and you got to... ...like bowl and... In tennis. But then, you learned that you could just flick your wrists a little bit. In a nondescript manner. And that was good enough. And then the magic kind of got lost because you then started to min-max your scores using wrist mo movements. Just speaking for myself here. Perhaps min-max wasn't the, uh, proper terminology, but you know what I mean. Well, I guess Wii Sports was kind of cool. I mean... I'm sure... Most of you here were... I don't know if, if you remember the hype before the Wii came out. But, it was a pretty fucking hype console. People were like, I was 9, I was 11... So, what, 10 years ago now? We came out 2008, right? Two thousand six? Jesus fucking Christ, it's been, it's been 12 years. But yeah, there was- there was a lot of hype surrounding the release of the Wii because it really did seem like a new way to play. Just the pointer seemed cool. When I got the Wii home, I was excited to just fuck around with the pointer. And then people were doing all kinds of, like, cool homebrews for it. And when I say homebrew, actually, it was done through the fucking internet browser. There were like little websites you could go to. There was a website I had bookmarked, which was a bunch of Flash games... ...utilizing the Wii controller. And it, one of them was like... ...um, 3D... ...go through... ...the tunnel, and avoid the walls, and that was pretty much it. But it was still really cool, because... ...the controller was unlike anything. And then, you know, retirement homes... ...became... ...the main... ...like... ...and I'm not even trying to make a joke. The Wii is still extremely popular... ...in retirement homes. So that's the game room, you know? It's no longer foosball. <laughs> it's no longer billiards. It's... You know, it's a Wii. And just enough room to not bump into somebody. Or a wall. Pinball would be cool. Yeah, if I had a game room, I'd get, like, a couple pinball. I get Lord of the Rings pinball, I get Star Trek The Next Generation pinball, and I get a Star Wars pinball. And I'd be like... The Holy Trilogy. The Holy Trinity. Trinity. Well, Trilogy works, too. 
I wouldn't need more than three, though. I'd get bored. He's a peen ball wizard. Again. After the claw, after the claw se uh, sequence, I am going to go to bed. This is supposed to be a clue. I can barely see what I'm looking at. You need diamond claw. Oh, I don't even have the diamond claw. Now I have the diamond claw. Miscellaneous item? Yes, it is. Dragon, butterfly, me uh, thing. Jaguar. Dragon, butterfly, jaguar. Listen, I'm not going to complain if there's puzzles, but man, Skyrim puzzles are, are very one note. Not claiming to be a genius. <laughs> God knows I couldn't solve that other one, even though, again, I don't feel so bad about it, because it turns out the one door didn't open despite the other door. Or, well, you know what I mean. But I think what's funnier for me is that I have been playing this game for hours and hours and hours. There hasn't been too many puzzles. And then I finally do the main quest again. And suddenly puzzles. It's just jarring. I'm gonna stop here. I do like the game. I shit on it. It glitches, but... I've been having fun. A little bit. It's gonna make a save point. And, um, looks like next week I'm gonna beat the game. And then... You know, it'll be just in time for E3, so Skyrim 2 will be announced. But yeah, this is a good time to stop. Next time I play, finish up the main quest, and then uh, tie up some loose ends. I'm gonna see if I can turn Serana into a human. And then... We'll just glitch hunt for a little bit. And then who the fuck knows what the future of Skyrim streams will be. I'll take a, I'll take a nice break. All right, chat, I'm going to need a little bit of help.
no, maybe not. Yep. Yep, yep. Eh, yeah. Yep. Nope. <laughs> I don't think I did this one today. Loud ASMR? What was the ASMR? Loud spiders? Oh, okay. Yeah, we did have loud spiders. Okay. And, um, okay, so this is... I had a laughing fit? Did I specifically have a laughing fit? We had a kill cam. Demonic gurgling? Alright, fair enough. At the cow. Okay, right at the start. So then that's... That's a scringo! The broken dragon capture. I didn't have a laughing fit. I was more in just befuddlement. I was befud. And you know what? There is a chance that I missed one or two in here, but that seems to be fairly accurate. So as always, as always, if you um, if you want, you can take a screenshot of your scringos <laughs> for actually calling them that. And you can uh, tweet them to me, at Vinny Vinesauce. And that's where you can find me. Your cow was assaulted by the physics engine. Okay. Alright, so... Are you guys ready for the art? Because I sure am. Whoa. 